Hi, in this video I'm going to be showing you why modulus, modulus x minus modulus y is less than or equal to modulus x minus y means that modulus x minus modulus y is greater than or equal to minus modulus x minus y and it's also less than or equal to modulus x minus y. Now before I start this proof, let me remind you why we should get this over here. It's because modulus p minus q is less than or equal to r should give you p minus q is greater than or equal to minus r and less than or equal to r. Okay, which is the same as P is greater than or equal to Q minus R or less than or equal to Q plus R. If you want to know why all of this is true, watch my previous video. I've left a link to that video below this one. Okay, so the first part of this proof will be to use the triangle inequality to show that this first criteria over here is correct. That is modulus x minus modulus y is less than or equal to modulus x minus y. So we first write modulus x minus y plus y is less than or equal to modulus x minus y plus modulus y. Okay, so we put x minus y in here, which gives us this on the right hand side, and we put y in here, which gives us y or modulus y on this side. Okay, so just look at how this over here compares to this triangle inequality and what you'll find is that this over here must be true. Now x minus y plus y is simply x. So we get modulus x over here is less than or equal to modulus x minus y plus modulus y. Okay, now if we subtract modulus y from both sides of this inequality, we will get modulus x minus modulus y is less than or equal to modulus x minus y. Okay, and this right here matches the first criteria we have up here. Okay, so now we need to show the second criteria up here. Okay, and that's our next job. So let me just write this down second criteria. We're going to use the triangle inequality once again, but this time we get modulus y minus x plus x is less than or equal to modulus y minus x plus modulus x. Just take a moment to notice how this relates to the triangle inequality. Now, modulus y minus x plus x simply gives you modulus y. And this is going to be less than or equal to modulus y minus x plus modulus x. 
Now let's subtract modulus y minus x from both sides of this inequality. That gives us modulus y minus modulus y minus x is less than or equal to modulus x. Now from here, we're going to subtract modulus y from both sides of this inequality. So we get minus modulus y minus x is less than or equal to modulus x minus modulus y. Now this is the same as saying minus modulus minus x minus y in brackets, okay, is less than or equal to modulus x minus modulus y. Now we've got a useful rule over here. Modulus u is equal to modulus minus u. It means this over here can be transformed into minus modulus x minus y. Okay, and that's going to be less than or equal to modulus x minus modulus y. Okay, let's find out how the second criteria relates to our latest workings over here. I'm just going to paste that into here and we are going to compare the two. Okay, so these are our workings over here and it matches the second criteria over here. Now, why does this complete the proof? Well, in my previous video, I explained that if you have modulus P minus Q is less than or equal to R, that means P minus Q must be greater than or equal to minus R and less than or equal to R. Now, this over here, because of this rule up here, gives you this. But you can prove this up here using the triangle inequality. That's why it makes sense. If you want to know why this to the right is true, watch my previous video. I'm going to leave a link to that video below this one. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section and I'll try to respond as soon as I can. For more mathematics content, visit mathematics.proofs on Instagram or visit mathematics.proofs on threads. There you'll find plenty of work. As always, thanks for watching this video and see you next time.